Welcome back. Well, we're all fans of little hacks that make life a little bit easier. Last week, we shared our colleague Karen Skolan's life hack for getting the snow off of her dog's fur. If you didn't see it, check it out. Um, I saw this on TikTok. Uh, it works great. So just get your whisk from your kitchen and start shaving away like you're whipping up some eggs. And it literally just kind of flies off. Okay, that's right. Who knew a whisk could turn into this great grooming tool? So that, that video inspired us to find some other life hacks when it comes to caring for our pets. Uh, here to share some of his easy tips and tricks, our pet expert, Dr. Eric Rulin from St. Paul Pet Hospital. Good morning, guys. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for being with us. I saw that as well last week, and I think right when you guys did, and I was like, that's amazing. And I was like, I should patent, we, somebody should patent a snow Let's removing, see. like, you know, yeah, dog Yeah, just a whisk, but you call right. it, just put a whole <laughs> right. new name to it. Uh, you, you doubled your dogs that you normally we, bring. Yeah, we got double, two pounds of butter this morning, so, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Butters Puppy Fitzgerald, who you guys all saw as little as a little tyke, um, is really excited to see his mom this morning. Oh, and look at um, me, like, I know he's very frustrated. It. We're doing some leash training this morning. This is actually called yarding. We actually do this on purpose, and eventually the dog will just kind of like will not will eventually obey leash pressure. Sure. And he's at a young age. This is the most frustrating age to teach a dog how, how to walk on a leash. I, I, I think everybody has been in that situation where they're just pounding their head against the wall. So we are actually doing some training here on air as well. So, I love it. He's yeah. working on it. Full he's service right now. <laughs> Okay. Well, we showed you Karen's yeah. video of her grooming yeah. hack. So let's start with that. Do you have any simple grooming hacks that you can share? One of the best ones that I use with all my dogs and all my puppies that I've ever had, we, I, we teach and learn how to shake. So, hey, Butter. Hey, Butter. Can you sit? Can you shake? Can you shake for me? Of course, now she's there not going to do it. Oh, that's but right. Every time, I always I teach all my dogs to shake. And that, that not only is that really, really useful for, for grooming nails, but as a vet and as a, uh, you know, having my technicians have an easy access to be able to grab their arm, we always want to be able to, we always want to be able to grab a dog's arm or grab their hand. And we start that at a really, really young age. That makes yeah. a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, you had a really good one for getting your dogs to leave the kitchen. I think oh, we yeah. all have this problem. Yeah, I, I sent this over this morning. Okay. Um, this was in the, I was literally making breakfast this morning and I had a hot, I had a hot pot of oatmeal. And so it, we can just, we can show this on air. Can you guys please get out of the kitchen? Uh, so get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen is my is my command in the house. And so that is really useful. There's dangerous situations where you do not want a dog yeah. under your feet, whether there's, there's knives, whether there's boiling, boiling water, water yep. any of those things. We want to be easily be able to get the dog out of your out from underneath your feet. So please leave the kitchen or get out of the kitchen is kind of our, our command. There's also times like that because we have a kitchen island, we like to eat at the dinner table and we don't want dogs underneath, underneath the floor and that just creates and develops bad habits later. So How do you get, get them to down. do that though? So, I know there's a lot to this. Is there a so I, When I summary? started with Butter, when Butter and, and I, my uh, rescue dog Leia, who you saw there, um, right away when, they were when she was a puppy, when she leaves the kitchen, right when she gets to the edge of the kitchen line, she'll get a treat. And if she comes, if she takes one step over that, there's immediately like I will walk back over and push her, push her back away and make her sit and wait. And oh. she gets, she'll get a reprimand if she comes across that line. Sure. So I don't say, I never tell a dog stay. Dogs don't understand the command stay. You tell them a command once and that is the command. Like mm -hmm. that's it. Like you give them the command and then they sit and then okay. that's it. So out of the kitchen and if she break that, she broke, broke that rule, then there'd be a reprimand. But I, as soon as she got across it, then she would get her treat sure. to, okay. to start with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Simple training. Okay, coming up next, especially for labs, eating too fast. You have oh, a, uh, a good hack to get them to slow down. There are special bowls, uh, Hannah, that they actually make that have these little finger projections that stick up or they have spirals in them. Those work great. Otherwise, using large rocks or tennis balls slows them down too. Mm -hmm. Those like are in their bowl? Yeah. Okay. Just, just set them right in there and they have to work around them. That'll slow them down. Some dogs are fine. They won't some dogs eat a rock? No, they okay, not great. a big not a big rock that's sure. the size okay. of a baseball. They're not going to be able to right. take like something like that. Okay. Obviously be smart. Something about the size of your fist or larger. Sure. Yeah, they're definitely not going to eat that. So We have a fast eating rescue or a foster pup right now. I mean, she just inhales Garf it, so and thank barf. you. Sometimes, and I don't want to buy the yeah. thing because she's only going to be with us for like 10 more days. No, so, some anyway. softballs or just some large rocks okay. will slow that down. Done. Easy. I'm going to try it. Yep. Okay, vinegar and baking soda? Yeah. All, Stains? Like, to get... To get um, I use vinegar to, around the house for everything. I use it in yeah. my washing machine for everything. And baking combination of baking soda and and uh, and vinegar work fantastic. 
to sure. take out those stamps. You don't yeah. need all those fancy products, yeah. right? Um, and then you talk about using pill pockets to give pets their meds. Equal portions, equal portions of butter, or of peanut butter, excuse me, flour, and a little bit of milk just to make a dough. Oh. And then you can make little depressed little pockets. They look like little cups that are tiny to put medications in. Yeah. Be a little bit careful because that's a lot of fat. Be a little bit careful with your and ask your veterinarian whether or not the meds that you're getting are fat soluble or not. Because some meds actually are uptake a lot better with with some fat. But most medications you should be fine with a little bit of a little bit of a pill pocket. So that'll yeah, work. Yeah. When I discovered those, man, yeah. that was a game changer. Those are so they're so nice, so easy. Yeah. So, Perfect. Hannah, how are you doing with the zoo that's happening behind it's you? It's like we're working over here. <laughs> it's, it's like WrestleMania. Yeah. I love it. It's really cute. They're just getting you know reacquainted. I know. All right. I tried to get the wiggles out of him this morning, but this is like obviously they're they're having a ball. Well, he has they're endless lost... wiggles. I'm sure. I mean, oh yeah. if we could be here for two hours, he wouldn't stop. No, he probably would not. Yeah. Butter's like, totally. please make this stop. Um, okay. Next up, you have <laughs> train your dog to ring a bell to let you know that they need to go potty. At a really young age as well, I will start. I didn't do it with Butter, actually, because I had Leia as well. But for other dogs, um, using a bell at the door physically touching the touching the bell and then opening the door and then giving them a treat they will start mm -hmm. to associate that they can open the door you don't want to do it with a treat every time you want to use a lot of physical praise because they'll start to use it the, they'll start to learn that the bell is a treat sure. then you'll have <laughs> then you're going to have your own problem that, then this is going to be this is going to be a nightmare but try to associate the bell with the door and they will get it very quickly that way you're not waiting like and you're sitting in the living room and try to avoid accidents and sure. you're like like the dog has to go out and all of a sudden they pee by the door that just that'll associate a lot quicker. So a bell by the door is an easy trick, and there's lots of YouTube videos on how to train yeah. up on that. What do you think about those buttons that are all the rage right now? I, I, I they they could be useful as long as they can as long as the dog can easily <laughs> indicate and tell the owners that's fine. <laughs> like they 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 will work. You know. So. What do the buttons do? I haven't seen this. They have yeah. like you know like outside treats. Oh wow! Or I, and then some get like really advanced and they. I don't know that Butter would be able to figure this one out. Like this would be like. <laughs> no, uh, your dog. She has like ball and food and that yeah, is that's it. about that's it. That's it. And then some dogs are just like treat, 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 treat. <laughs> right. All the time. Like, of that's, totally, that's like the bell. One last little tip that I yeah. a trick that I like to use that I that I I actually did this last year is I've put air, Apple Air Tags on my dogs' leashes, all, like <clears throat> on both Butter and Leia, and it is amazing how many times I've actually had to use them. Mm. I've been surprised. Wow. So, um, and it comes in handy at the dog park um, when I'm up in my cabin and I'm sure. like the dogs are out and I'm like where did they just go and I'll just pull them up like. Oh, they're yeah, they're like 70. Oh, they're right there, you know. So just another just another tip. So that that helps a lot. Luggage and dogs. Yeah. Perfect for air tags. The last thing too, learned. with their leashes and their collars. You'll notice on uh, Fitzgerald's leash right here that I actually have a carabiner on the yeah, end. Yeah, I see that. And I use a carabiner all the time. Come here, big goofball. Um, <laughs> um, I use these carabiners. I have carabiners on everything. Um, my uh, all my friends, my partner, um, they, I, I put them on everything. But this is really easy, so you can loop around like a bike rack. Like let's oh, say I go sure. into Caribou and the kid, dogs can't come in, loop around so I can hook it onto something manually. These nice big ones added to the end of the of the leash is fantastic. Genius, so, yeah. great Thanks. ideas, Dr. Thank Eric you. Rulin, Butter, Fitzgerald. Thanks. Thank Thanks you for, for joining us. Thanks for dealing with the dog tornado this morning. <laughs> oh, oh, this, this is, is this Monday. Made my morning. Yeah, <laughs> this is Monday, and I love it. Oh, <laughs> if you, you want to get more information, you can head to stpaulpet.com. We're also